Hello, this is Matt Hintz, Senior Application Developer for Saliant Consulting, and I want to show a new tool that's been introduced in FileMaker 17 called FM Data Migration. Uh, it is a command line based tool, so let me first show you how you can issue commands for this, uh, this process. I'm on a Macintosh, so I can launch the command prompt application called Terminal on the Mac. If you're on Windows, you can launch Command Prompt or Windows PowerShell. And from there, there's one of a couple different ways that I can run this. One way is I can simply drag the executable, this file right here, into my terminal window. And I can just simply hit return. I can also type out this full path that I have here. And that will also give me the same thing. What this ends up presenting is then the documentation for this tool. And also all the different options that we can apply uh, to this command. At a minimum, what we need then is a source path and a path for a clone file. And so there's two options there. That's how that can be done. But we just we at Salon have decided to put together a, another tool here, and this sort of takes all those commands and those options and puts them into one location for us. And that's the FM data migration tool. Let me show you this file. I just took a FileMaker starter solution here. And this has a couple records in it. It's just the task starter solution. There's four records for four different tasks, as you can see here. If I close this file out and I go ahead and open up my development file, you'll also see that I've got a very similar file, but there's some, some pretty distinct differences here. One is there's some pretty drastic layout changes that I've made with some colors that will really stand out. Not something I would normally do, but just to illustrate this, I made a change to this layout, and I also made a change up here at the top. And so what you'll also notice is that since I took this development copy and I made these changes, the production file also has had some changes that have happened on the data side. So if I open up my production file again, you'll see there are four records in this task table as opposed to two in my development file. And so what we want to be able to do is make changes to my interface here, could go ahead and make a new table. Go ahead and new table. So I've made changes in my development file, added a new table, made some layout changes, don't have all the records in it. Let's say now I'm ready to move this into a production phase. I would then go to the file menu and I'd create a copy of this, a special type of copy called a clone. So under type, I choose clone, no records. Let's just call it tasks development clone to clearly determine which one it is. I'm going to save that. A very critical step here is to not open this clone file. There's certain information that gets set when a file is first open and then therefore is not considered a clone by the FileMaker data migration tool. So we see we have my development clone file. We see we have the original development file that's not going to be a part of this process. But that clone file is all those changes that I've made in regards to those layouts and the new tables that I've added. And then we have our production file. And I'm going to take the data, the changes that are in this production file, and bring them into a new combined copy file that is based off of this clone, the changes that we've made in that clone file UI. Let's go ahead and close this out. Close all this here. And let's walk through this tool, and it'll show us how to do this. So first I'm going to choose the executable file. I have it right here in my demo folder. This just need to download then. And so that will be inserted. I hit the next button, continue through this process. And I'm going to select my source file. The source file in my scenario is my production file. This is the source of the data that I'm bringing in. So I can hit insert. And I have not changed the default username and password. So I just admin, no password, and I'm not using encryption at rest. But these are options that are available in the command line tool. We're just providing a nice user interface to be able to do this. I'm going to move on to the next step here. I'm going to select my clone file. Make sure I choose the right one. should be this one. Yep, that's my clone file. So now it's giving me the clone path. Same account. Nothing's changed there. And then I have the ability to change some additional settings, like maybe the cache size. I also have the ability to ignore value lists, so this will not bring over the value lists. 
I can also have it set to ignore accounts, but I have all these off right now just for this purpose. And then it's going to automatically fill in a target path of what my file will be. And I'm going to change the name of this to make it a little bit easier for us to see it. Let's just call it Tasks Migrated. If I go ahead and I click Run, you'll see some action in the background here. A new file was created here. We will also see the results from that. So we'll see all the information regarding what fields were carried over, what data was moved over from each field. And we also see any other changes, like what accounts were migrated, some other total information. Now if I go ahead and I can just close this out, open up my migrated file, and we should see all four records. Great. We see already one of my UI changes that came from that development file. And we also see changes to this top layout here as well. Let's go and look, make sure my table is created. There's a table called new table as well. No records were in there, no fields, but just showing that I could also make tables as well. This could extend out further. I could have table occurrences that I've added to my graph here. And you can see how quick this was too. So I can see how easy it was to migrate my data from my production file or my source file into a clone copy and kind of merge those into a new migrated file here. This shows the new FileMaker data migration tool. Thank you.